Welcome to Dinopedia your dinosaurs channel. What is its name? The Acrotholus oddity whose name Acrotholus comes from Greek and means elevated dome, Akros meaning elevated and Tholos meaning dome, and the second name oddity is named after Roy Audet, the owner of the farm where paleontologists excavated the dinosaur fossils in 2008. It was named by David C. Evans Ryan K. Schott Derek W. Larson Caleb M. Brown Michael J. Ryan In the year 2013 What was its size? They came to measure about 1.80 meters in height by 1.80 meters in length and weighed 40 kilograms. What did it look like? This small herbivore had a dome over the head, composed of a solid bone 10 centimeters thick. It was a kind of pachycephalosaurid, which is a kind of bipedal dinosaurs that had a thick bony layer on top of the skulls, consisting of a solid, dome-shaped bone, 10 centimeters thick that would serve to carry out possible combats between males, exchanging budding like sheep in the fight for territory or in defense against predators. Unlike most known pachycephalosaurs, Acrotholus oddity's dome on the skull is oval in shape having a maximum thickness of 55 millimeters, 2.2 in, above the cerebral fossa. Comparisons of the skull finds Acrotholus oddity to be distinctly different from other pachycephalosaurs in relation to dome. Most notably, the supraorbital region and incorporation of the supraorbital into the dome identify the specimen from other pachycephalosaurs. Very little soft tissue covering have been suggested over the dome due the structural anatomy and hypothesized use. The relatively dome shape of the holotype indicates the specimen was an adult, or nearing its completion of its adult transition. Consolidation between flat-headed and domed pachycephalosaurs, have been greatly debated. Fossils records from more numerous North American specimen, suggest a flat-domed juvenile stages. Acrotholus was bipedal, they used to walk and run on two hind legs. The forelimbs were very small and were probably useless. What did it eat? This animal was herbivorous and certainly ate a variety of plant species. Where did it live? This species lived in southeastern Alberta, Canada. Analysis of pachycephalosaurid skull by Mallon and Evans, suggest many species frequently inhibited coastal area, contrary to their terrestrial lifestyle. In the same study, it was concluded that North American pachycephalosaurids, lived in habitats near floodplains, and coastal plains. Hind limb proportions have been found to be similar to other modern animals, such as moose and various wading birds, that inhibit wetland areas. The Milk River Formation, where Acrotholus oddity is found, is home to many other extinct species in the late Cretaceous, including other dinosaurs like Saurinothelestis, and mammals like Alphodon. When did it live? This species lived approximately 85 to 83 million years ago during the Santonian of the late Cretaceous period. How did it behave? One of the hypotheses suggests the dome plays a visual role, either for sexual display or species recognition. However, such theories have been countered, due to the relatively large energy investment required, and the morphological changes, that occur in the species lifespan. The more widely accepted and popular hypothesis, explains the dome being used as a weapon. In modern species with analogous structures, such head ornaments, have been used between intraspecies combat. How was it discovered? The holotype was found in the Dead Horse Cooley member, of the Milk River Formation, in southern Alberta, Canada. This formation has been known to expose organisms, from the late Santonian. The fossil consists of a nearly complete frontoparietal dome, along with the anterior half, of the frontoparietal dome. The discovery is based on two skull tops, originating from the Milk River Formation, southern Alberta. One of these skulls, was collected by the Royal Ontario Museum, 50 years ago. However, the best preserved specimen was found in 2008, by graduate student Caleb Brown, of the University of Toronto, during a field expedition organized by Dr. David Evans, of the Royal Ontario Museum and Dr. Michael Ryan, of the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. 
the researchers who discovered this species, stressed the importance of the discovery, to understand the evolutionary history of the Pachycephalosaurs group. Also participating in the discovery, were graduate students at the University of Toronto, from Dr. Evans, Ryan Schott, and Derek Larson. The holotype was found, in the Dead Horse Cooley member of the Milk River Formation, in southern Alberta, Canada. This formation has been known, to expose organisms from the late Santonian. The fossil consists of a nearly complete frontoparietal dome, along with the anterior half of the frontoparietal dome. Only two skulls have been excavated in the Milk River Formation, south of the province of Alberta. They consist of a single species, Acrotholus oddity, named in 2013 in honor of rancher Roy Audet, on whose land was the best specimen, discovered in 2008. Additional information. This species is considered the oldest pachycephalosaurid in the Americas, and perhaps the oldest known. The iconic cranial dome found on Acrotholus, makes it the earliest indisputable known member, of the pachycephalosaur family. Pachycephalosaurs in general are unique in dinosaur fossil records, due to their relatively small size, in relation to most dinosaurs in their time period, 40 kilograms, or less. Acrotholus oddity is a sister taxon to Prinocephalprines, and Wananosaurus. Acrotholus is the earliest known specimen of Pachycephalosaur, with derived traits from the fossil records, predating later known species, of flat-headed species in Asia. The discovery of this species further suggests, Pachycephalosaur head features were well established by the Santonian, predating later species thought to have primitive traits, such as Homolocephal, and Stegosaurus validum. The first skull had been found in the 1960s, but it was only in 2008 that the best preserved specimen was discovered. Acrotholus is not as old as some of the known Pachycephalosaur genera from Asia but it does help to complete a picture, of the fauna roaming around North America earlier, in the late Cretaceous. Also, now that paleontologists have a better idea of what is out there, Acrotholus may be the first, of many more Santonian age Pachycephalosaurs. The team that described Acrotholus, also took the opportunity to point out, that the fossil record of long extinct animals, can be biased towards the preservation of larger species. Larger animals have proportionately larger bones, which mean that it is harder for scavengers to consume them, often because of simple things, like not having big enough mouths to fit them in. Smaller animals of course have smaller bones, which mean that a greater number of meat-eating creatures, are able to process the bones, for additional sustenance meaning that fewer bones, survive to fossilis. Indeed, if you look at the preservation of smaller animals, the best preserved individuals, are usually the result of dying in more specialized circumstances, such as being buried in landslides, or buried in sediment, at the bottom of a water system. Another animal from year 2013 naming, Albertadromus, was used to further support this theory. Acrotholus may have been hunted, by small predatory dinosaur genera, such as Saurinathalestis and Richardos tegia, fossils for which, have also been recovered from the Milk River formation. What is not yet known about it? The dome had often been associated with intraspecies combat, though exact method of contact, have been debated. Dinosaur data. Name, Acrotholus. Scientific name, Acrotholus oddity. Season, Cretaceous. Place where you lived, North America. Weight, about 40 kilograms. Size, 1.80 meters long. Food, herbivorous. Scientific classification. Kingdom, Animalia. Phylum, Chordata. Clado, Dinosauria. Class, Reptilia. Order, Ornithischia. Family, Pachycephalosauridae. Genus, Acrotholus. Species, Acrotholus oddity. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.